uh, you have a culture, you're able to kind of create a culture. From, uh, from the standpoint of what you believe really makes a successful company, uh, how much time do you spend on this thing, this culture thing? How much, how would you describe the culture that you have in the companies at uh, SpaceX and Tesla and so on? Uh, well, I, I don't think we spend a lot of time sort of co consciously on creating a particular culture. Uh, but I think the, the, the culture comes from the from our, from the actions um, and the way that uh, I guess you interact with people and conduct meetings. Um, I, I think now that the companies are fairly big, um, Tesla is about twelve thousand people, SpaceX is about uh, just over four thousand people. Um, I, I've given some thought that it, to, to, to actually writing something up um, because. The amount of direct interaction I have with people is a lot more limited. Um, I do do skip level meetings, so it's like I meet with my report and their direct reports. It's good. It's good to hear some of these familiar words. Okay. Skip level meetings. Uh, yeah. I think that's a good. That's a <laughs> we good do idea. those too. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a good idea. Um, I mean, generally, for for a company, um, when it's very small, productivity grows quickly because of specialization of labor. Um, and then productivity per person declines uh, due to communication issues as the company gets bigger. Mm -hmm. and as you have more and more layers through which communication has to flow, that uh, necessarily uh, imparts errors. Like every time information flows from one person to another to another, even with the best of intentions, uh, you have information loss. So uh, it's just broken, broken telephone, basically. So, to the degree that you can uh, alleviate that by doing things like skip leave all meetings, I think it's a good idea. Um, but um, but, it, but I, th I think now the companies are getting bigger, and even with skip level meetings, there's just a huge number of people I don't see at all. Um, I think some kind of written document that people can refer to, um, you know, as sort of like the rules of the company and how things should work. Uh, I think. Would that be is, a values statement? Here's the values of the company? Um, the problem with it's certainly values, but I mean, if, you, if, if the value statements are just sort of fairly obvious mom and apple pie stuff, mm -hmm. then it's difficult to say, well, how should this be a set of operating instructions for the company? Um, you know, so it's, it's got to be something that to people that's, that's quite actionable. Like, okay, the, these, these are rules that are. Um, different from how we might otherwise do things. Like, the, the, you, the rules need to particularly capture counterintuitive things. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, if something's, like, fairly obvious or, the, the, then I guess people will probably do that. But the, but, but the counterintuitive stuff is, is less obvious. And one, one thing we have at the companies is we try to minimize the size of meetings. I think it's, it's actually important to minimize size of meetings. So what would be a, a normal size? How many people would you typically have in one of your meetings? A um, normal meeting would be four to six. Um, I, I, I need some of my people to take note. That's why <laughs> I was asking that. <laughs> I mean, it's the few, it's, but, but the basic rule for the meetings is that, that somebody should, unless, there's, unless somebody's getting enormous value from the information they're receiving, um, or they're contributing to the meeting yeah. itself. Uh, they should not be there. And we also have a rule that if somebody's in a meeting and finds that this meeting is not helping them in, in, in a meaningful way and they are not contributing to the meeting, they should just leave. Just get up and just, just get up and pack. Just get up and walk out. All right. Um, and would, would that be, in your culture, would that be rude to do that? Or? No, that's expected. <clears throat> that's it's expected. rude to stay. Oh, <laughs> oh. We, we, may, we may be able to go a little further. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that, yeah, my meetings can be the biggest times I ever. Um, but that, this, this, this had to cause some consternation when we had, uh, you know, we've had some sort of, We've had some collaboration programs with other companies with, where we would have six people in the meeting and they would have, I don't know, 30 people in the meeting. 
Ah, now we're starting to sound like some of the media I'm used to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, a, it's a frequent problem, and they really don't like it when people get up and walk out either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me get down to brass tacks. JB, how many meetings have you walked out on uh, where Elon has been running the meeting? No, I'm, Ooh, I'm, don't, don't go there. Question. I'm just having some fun with you. <laughs> It has occasionally happened. I mean, he's serious. It's, it's, it's actually expected. It's a negative thing if you're just sitting there and, and uh, not contributing and kind of on your phone or on your laptop in the corner of the meeting. You know, there's, there's so many groups like that, and it's just no one's engaged, and it's not productive. So do you have a uh, no iPhone BlackBerry policy when people are in meetings? Or do you, you let people try to multitask across the electronic communications while also engaging, participating actively in a meeting. I'm going to get off this topic shortly. I just sort of kind of curious. Um, we don't have a hardcore, like, I mean, people often have laptops and, um, and uh, phones in the meeting. But if, if what they're mostly doing in the meeting is working on their laptop or phone, then, like, well, they can do that at their desk. Right. So it's like they should get up and pack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's a, if there's a sort of brief sort of lull in the meeting and they can get a, they can do something, that's fine. That's okay. But if um, but if they're doing it too much, then then they're obviously shouldn't be in the meeting in the first place. 